Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to Facebook Live. We are going to have so much fun here tonight. Ooh, Seal, you were the first one on, followed closely by Julie and Sue. <laughs> Hang on just a second, I'm going to get my um, iPad working here. Oh, that's not the right live, here it is. It always tricks me. <laughs> I always think I'm there. But I'm not. Whew, I'm warm. How's everybody doing tonight? Happy Sunday. I think we are ready to start a new week. Oh my gosh. What happened this last week? We had all kinds of stuff. So we um, bundled up the grands, a few of them, and we went on a ski trip to Iron Mountain, Michigan. And we stayed at the Pine Mountain Resort. And so the kids could ski right up to our room. It was the coolest thing ever. Hi, Connie. Hi, Barbara. So um, that was really fun. The weather was, you know, it was chilly. So that's good for skiing, right? The snow wasn't sticky and it snowed a couple times. And we had this really nice condo, two-bedroom condo that worked out really good. And... Um, Gosh, Steve, oh my gosh, what a trooper he was. He prepared tacos and crock pot lasagna. And what else did we have to eat? Um, we had, I, I made buttermilk pancakes for breakfast one day. And Steve had a ham and he, we sliced that all up so we could have that with breakfast. So we had buttermilk pancakes and ham one day. Um, another day we had... French toast and ham and oh my lord we had to run to the store because I forgot the cinnamon and so Andy and I ran to the store it was Andy Molly me um, Jared and Haley baby Val Val's she wasn't feeling too good um, me Steven I think that's everybody and anyways we had to run to the store to get cinnamon so we ran to the store and ran in and got cinnamon and we went to make the French toast and it was ground cumin not cinnamon <laughs> we did not put it in the french toast and the french toast was fine but we love cinnamon in our french toast so we had um homemade maple syrup which is a must in our house we go through gallons of it yeah sharon says she's been busy stamping today yay i need to clean my house like i seriously need to clean my house you guys i'm really excited because my guy is coming tomorrow my handyman guy who made my office and I'm going to have him um, figure something out with me and design a new desk. <laughs> We've got the little hands. <laughs> and I have a special treat for you. When we get to the prizes, we'll talk about it. But anyways, um, he's coming tomorrow and he just had a baby. So excited for him. Um, him and his wife had a baby boy. So that's really cool. He was supposed to come last week and he just messaged me and said, oh, I hope you didn't think I forgot about you, but this happened. And he was had a picture of him with his baby boy, Beckett, he named him. What a, I like that name. I like Beckett a lot. So, But yeah, Val was kind of sick. She's been battling an ear infection. I think I told you guys that. Well, her medicine wasn't working. And so she kind of got worse. And, um, and she's teething on top of it. So then she has a bad diaper rash and teething and all of that, like, frenzy going on and she's such a busy little girl <laughs> it was easy to see she wasn't feeling good because she was rather docile so um I stayed and took care of baby Val while everybody else went skiing well Steve didn't go skiing but um the kids went skiing and I wonder why my screen just got a little bit darker did you guys see that that's a little weird I am plugged in by the way <laughs> hi Suzanne Scott and Betty Beckham welcome so, um, just a couple things I wanted to tell you guys about. We have my fine art floral class is going live tomorrow. I have all the videos. I've got one more video to edit and upload, but I got that done before I left, which was a blessing. And um, remember these beautiful cards that I made with you guys with that gilded leafing. Oh, so gorgeous, right? This is the Fine Art Floral um, Suite. 
of products. Yay! Who doesn't love a fun fold? Yeah, we made these a couple weeks ago. Here's just another, another color variation of that card that I showed you. Is there anything on the inside? Well, yes, there is. Hello. So that class goes live um, tomorrow. I will have the videos done. If you are part of the Stampappy Academy membership website, it will be posted on there. So you will be able to get your hands on that. And um, if you're not, you should be. <laughs> There's over $80 worth of online classes loaded on the Stampappy Academy website um, every month new ones. So it's a really good value for, you can get a basic membership for $19.95 or a premium membership for $34.95. Um, there's lots of good stuff going on on there for basic membership. And then if you want to jump a little higher, premium membership includes three live classes, one with me, one with Dina, and one with Barb every single month. So it's really, really cool. And thank you guys, everybody who has subscribed so far. We have... Um, I would say that this has been a huge hit and everybody is loving it. Like we have got the best comments about the whole thing. Like it's really exciting. So thank you all for that. So fine art floral class. You can get um, the product kit with the pre-cut. Whoops, let me find it. Here it is. Pre-cut cardstock pack. I've got it right here. Everything is in here for you to make eight cards. There's four different designs. You get to make two of each. Plus, in your kit, you will get the Fine Art Floral Ribbon, I believe, some Opal, I can't even tell you what's in it. Hang on. <laughs> Fine Art Ribbon, Gold Glitter Dots. I was going to say Opal Rounds, but that's a different kit. Here's the Gold Glitter Dots. This is just a half a pack, by the way. You'll get a full pack of those. And also the Painted Texture Embossing Folder. It's one of our 3D folders that's so beautiful. Um, it's actually on the background of this card if you can see that. Let's see if I can get some light on there so you can see that texture on there. So um, there's still room to sign up for it. I am making a few extra of the kit of the pre-cut cardstock pack and I ordered a few extra of all the goodies that go with the kit. That kit is $55. It includes priority shipping. Did you hear shipping just went up? Yeah. Um, you can add the bundle on, which is the stamp set in the dies for an additional $58. Um, you will need the gold or the gilded leafing and the heat and stick powder. If you don't have that, you can add that on for an additional $17. All of that information is on my blog. So I just want to make sure that you knew about that. Let me set this off to the side because I'm going to need it later and I don't want to lose it. I'm going to start cutting for those cardstock packs tomorrow. And that's a big undertaking. Okay, then... We have the Cactus online class. Flower and Cactus is a beautiful little medley that's in our mini catalog. And let me find it because you need to see this. The medley is one of those things that includes, you know, the stamp set, the stamp set, the dies, the designer series paper. It's got some twine in it and felt die cut flowers. Hang on, my... My mini catalog's falling apart. I know, shocking, right? But look at how pretty these are. So that online class is also already available on our Stamp Happy Academy website. But if you would like to get the pre-cut cardstock pack, I will be doing those next week. So I've already got an ordering button on my blog in the right-hand column where it says online classes. Now, if you're on your cell phone, and maybe even an, even an iPad. Um, I always say right-hand column. Well, there's no columns on those devices, but up in one of the corners is three little dots with three little lines next to it. And what that means is that it's more information. And when you click on that, it's gonna have a drop-down where you, where you will see online classes. So I just wanna clarify that. But look at these. Here are, this is one absolutely gorgeous card made with the um, flowering cactus medley. Cactuses are very trendy right now, and here is another one. Very, very cute, right? I love this thing. We had so much fun making this online class. This is one that Barb Dean and I do together every month. So, um, and remember, when you go to Stamp Happy Academy, you want to continue to order from whomever your demonstrator is. If that's Barb, you keep ordering from Barb. If it's Dina, you keep ordering from her. If it's me, 
you keep ordering from me. But when you order on the website, any of the stuff that may be there, like the subscription, um, that's, that's shared between us. But we do still maintain our own Stamping Up businesses. So I just want to clarify that because sometimes it's a little confusing. All right. Uh, we have winners from last week. Let's see. Um, oh, I know. I wanted to show you guys this. This is that penny drop game that I talked to you about last week. And it is super, super fun. It's got a sliding lid. Haley's on here. Haley, mine came in the mail while we were gone. <laughs> Comes with one dice. And it's called Penny Drop. And I got it from Amazon. If you are looking for a super fun game, this is very, very fun. As many people, we had 12 people playing it a couple weeks ago. Um, we had five-year-olds playing it, and they were masters at this. So, Gina Searing, I haven't seen you in forever. Welcome. Um, so, anyways, this game is really fun. I think it was about $25. This is a nice wood box, and you need each person needs 10 pennies to play, and it's super, super fun. So, we played that this weekend along with Left, Right, Center, which is another dice game that little kids can play, too. We like to do that at the holidays. We always play um, at our Christmas get together with the kids. We always play games and we want to play games that the little, little kids are able to play too. So those left, right, center and penny drop are two of the games. All right. Now I want to give away some stuff. We have giveaways. Hi, Carol. Hi, Tracy. First of all, I have some more of these beauties. These are the Tool Tidings Glitter Enamel Dots, just in time for Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day. And man cards. Green for the man cards. Green is a man card color, right? Yeah. So, um, we have these. This is for commenting last week. Now, remember, there's three ways for you to win if you're watching me. Um, if you're watching me live or later, you can leave a comment on the Facebook page underneath the video and that will enter you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. <laughs> Suzanne Scott of El Dorado, Illinois, you are going to be getting this pack of enamel dots in the mail. Ooh, Kathy says left, right, center is a blast. It really is fun. Next up, we have, if you share this video, oh, I thought I saw a bug up there. I'm like, what the heck was that? It must be something on my glasses. Anyways, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Um, if you share my video and you can do that right now, that really helps me grow my business. If you share my video, you also get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And I have this kerchief card kit going out for the person, one of the people who shared last week. I drew her name, Mickey Banky. I know you're on here tonight. I saw your name roll through. You're going to be getting this fabulous card kit in the mail from me. Congratulations. Next up. We have, when you place an order with me, and you guys know I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business so I can pay my bills. And I'm going to, hang on, I've got some tape on here. Oh, it looks kind of crummy. Well, there we go. I don't, want it, I don't want the prize to look crummy. Now, this is the Tasteful Label Dies, and I am not going to take them out of the package, but... Did you say WTF? I certainly did not. Who said that? I did not say that. This is a family program. I don't know where that's coming from. I just saw it scroll across there. Um, Mary Lou Refstall of Cook, Minnesota. You are the winner of these fabulous dyes. Tasteful label dyes. And these came from Pam Wampler. Pam accidentally ordered two of these, and rather than send them back to Stampin' Up, you can always exchange something if you do order two of something. Just know that. You can send it back, exchange it for something else. But um, she sent these to me to give away as a prize, and I thought that was just so very generous. <laughs> Janet loves my little hands. Hi, Janet. Janet's my aunt. So, Mary Lou Rustall of Cook, Minnesota, you're going to be getting these fabulous dyes in here. Yay! And thank you, Pam Wampler, for donating the dyes for me to give away. I really appreciate that, and so does everybody else. Okay, I'm still going back to the WTF. I don't know what's going on there, but... Oh, 
I hope nobody said that. Okay, I didn't. Um, oh, Elaine says the dies are awesome. They are awesome, aren't they? I love them. Okay, next thing. I just got home today. We, you know, ran home from the upper Michigan. And um, I had to get my paper pumpkin alternate ideas done. So, we get the paper pumpkin kit. And... I'm going to flip my camera around so I can show you because this one's super, super cute. So hang tight, you guys. I got to take off my little hands. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I do have a whole pack of little hands here. Yeah. Funny, right? If you think you would enjoy a pair of little hands, right? I want you to type little hands in the comments. And anybody who would like a pair of little hands, I will go through and put you guys all into a drawing to win a pair of little hands because they're hysterical. <laughs> Hang tight. I'm going to turn this around. And here we go. So let me get my phone set up and hopefully I don't do anything stupid because <laughs> you know how that happens. I got to get my cords out of the way here. Let me get myself straightened out. I still have not had time to sit down with my new fancy software that is going to make it so I don't have to flip my camera around like this anymore. I still haven't had time to do that, but I will. Paper pumpkin, you guys. This month's paper pumpkin is called Sending Hearts. If you are not a paper pumpkin subscriber, they're really fun. You can't get this kit anymore, but you can get next month's kit. So, um... This is just a little bit of information about the kit. And then here are the cards that were um, designed by Stampin' Up! for everybody to make. And then I just wanted to show you some of the fun elements of this kit. These are card bases. They're already scored and they're printed on one side, which is really cool, right? And got some of these. Somebody asked me the other day, they said they didn't know what these were. These are little tiny mini glue dots. So you peel the backing off of them, stick your ribbon on there, and there's a glue dot under there. And of course, you get everything in a paper pumpkin kit to um, make the cards. If you need glue dots, they include glue dots. If you need dimensionals, here's dimensionals. Here are the red envelopes. How fun is that going to be coming in somebody's mailbox? And then there's a bunch of these. We've got hearts that are gold foil embossed and also a little red mailbox that has some gold foil on it all on it too. We've got these labels, some enamel hearts and flowers that are super cute. Oh, I threw that in there. And some dies. We've got love. We've got these um, little scallop edges. We've got some more little pieces over here. All of these things come in the kit as well as a stamp set every month. And we've got this big heart, which is what I stamped this with. Some little flowers. This cute little snail dude. Here, let's do this. The cute little snail dude. And lots of words. These are perfect for using forever for Valentine's, right? Let me show you what I made. So I took my heart and I stamped the hearts in, oh, in an ink spot. You always get ink too. So when you get this kit, all you need is adhesive and scissors and you can make everything in it, which is pretty cool. But I took and made this. I stamped this heart in the middle of the gold embossed heart. And then I colored my little tiny uh, these little tiny enamel hearts, which are petal pink, I colored them with the Poppy Parade sta um, Stampin' Blend marker so that I could make them match what I needed them for. I added this little two inch banner and punched it with the triple banner punch and then put on some of the Playful Pets. I'm holding this too high, aren't I? I'm sorry. The Playful Pets um, trim combo pack has this black and white twine in it. So that was my first alternate card idea. My second alternate card idea is this little cutie patootie. So I took my mailbox layer and I stamped some of these cute little flowers in there with this little flower stamp. Then I used the snail right here 
and I stamped my snail and put some ground on her, under him and colored him. And I also added this strip of gold foil as well as the black layer under this layer. And again, use that Playful Pets trim combo to put on the front of my mailbox. Aren't these cute? Now, I make alternate ideas every month for the paper pumpkin kit, and I love the challenge. Like, it is so much fun. So I had to get my alternate ideas done because I belong to a virtual group, and what that means is Every month I have to take photographs and add my alternate ideas to, oops, I'm going to keep two of these out of here. I have to add my alternate ideas to a Facebook group and then we share all those alternate ideas with our Paper Pumpkin subscribers. So these were my two ideas. I ran home today and made these and I think they turned out really good. What do you guys think? Yeah. Oh, and Mary Lynn says she loves the card with the snail. I know, it's super cute, right? They were both really quick and easy. So if you would like to get Paper Pumpkin, all you have to do is go to mypaperpumpkin.com, create an demonstration. Make sure you choose me as your demonstrator. If you don't have one, I would appreciate that. You will also get access to my VIP Facebook group when you become a Paper Pumpkin subscriber or place an order. So, I just wanted to um, let you guys know, this is the Stamp Happy Academy. This is our website address, stamphappyacademy.ning.com. When you go there, you're going to find all the information about what's included in a basic membership or a premium membership. You're also going to be able to pick Stamp Happy Live. That's part of the premium membership. You get three live classes a month. If you just want these three live classes, it's $20. If you want the live classes with the basic membership, it's $34.95. And all you need to do is go to the website. This is just blown up. Go to the website in the top right corner, click on sign up. And you're just going to create an account just like you would a Facebook account or a YouTube account or an account with your dentist. You create an account and then you get to go over and click on your subscription level. Now, if you are part of my team, this is free to you at the basic level. You only click on sign up and create an account. Barb is our mistress of membership <laughs> and she will take you and move you into the proper category to gain access to the drop down tabs, okay? So if you're on my team, all you do is click sign up. You do not click on the subscribe buttons at all. Uh, right now we have a Dragonfly Garden online class available as well as the Perennial Flower class. The Fine Art class is coming and the, cact the Flower and Cactus class is all loaded on here. Once you, um, you gotta give us a little time because this is a manual process. Once you sign up, and you pay for your membership, one of us, and it's usually Barb, has to go in and put you on a basic membership, a premium membership, or a team membership. So we have to do that manually. Give us just a little bit of time to do that, and then you'll be able to have access to the tabs that are included in your membership. If you would like to get notifications when we load something new into this screen, there's a little orange gold button down here that says follow and when you click on that it's going to email you every time we add a new class to it that hey stamp happy academy has added something so you can go check that out okay all right hang on just a second so i can get this put away i'm going to get this put over to the side i think we're ready to stamp so First off, hang on, my crown just fell down on my glasses. We can't have that. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to unload everything here. I have a really cool technique card to share with you tonight. Who is totally stoked about the Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick bundles that are going to be available on Tuesday, February 2nd? I am so stinking excited about these. I can't even tell you guys. This is the Hey Chick was first brought out in 2017. It was part of our celebration promotion back in 2017. Stampin' Up! decided to bring it back. And they also added dies. 
and we'll we'll look at these in just a second. Let me get my stuff all unloaded here. But they are so stinking adorable, I can't even tell you. Now, if you are a team member, if you join my team as a discount shopper, we get to order this stuff like 30 days in advance. So I've had all of this for about 30 days, which is pretty cool. But if you're not, as a customer, you will be able to get it on Tuesday. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pull these dies out. I haven't had a chance to just go through and die cut everything, but this is the one, this is, goes together. You can buy the stamp set, you can buy the dies individually, or you can buy them together in a bundle, okay? I've got a little slip of paper here that tells you all the deets. The Hey Chick bundle, which is this one right here, is $44. The Hey Birthday Chick, which is this one right here, is $43. If you buy both of them, it's $87. Add a little bit to it to get up to $100, and you're going to get two free celebration items before the end of February. These two bundles will continue to be available until the end of June, so that's really exciting. And we've got Hey Chick with these dies, a corn stalk, some ears of corn, a little chicken coop, some chicken wire, dies that fit the chickens okay and then we've got a little sign here we've got some little chicken feet like scratchy marks a little um, stump for the chickens to stand on like this is super duper cute then hey birthday chick which is hysterical I just think these are so funny the Birthday chick dies have a little happy birthday that's die cut, some little chick feet that just emboss, not cut, some cute little banners, again, um, images to cut out the chickens. We've got some fencing here, a bag of grain, a little bow tie, a tiny little chick. Like, I don't know how much more chick stuff we could possibly have. Super, super cute. Um, Dina Barb and I are going to be using this bundle of product as our online class in February. So if you want to hang tight and wait and order it as part of the online class, it will, there'll be a list of things that will be included, but you will get the class for free as well as a pre-cut cardstock pack to make mm, eight or nine cards, nine usually, um, for free if you order the bundle from one of us. So just wanted to let you in on that little tidbit. Now, I am going to be using the new Hey Birthday Chick stamp set as well as the Birthday Chick dies. So I'm going to get those out here. I'm going to get out, oh, we're going to use both sets of dies actually. I'm going to get out this little fence. And the dot thing is chicken feed. Thank you, Deborah. Let me show you that again. These little dots are chicken feed. I said they were like feet, but the feet are actually right here and they're just die cut. Let me pull that out again. The feet are right here and they're die cut. And I see I just lost a die in here. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So um, we're going to use this little sign and the little fence. That's what we'll be die cutting today. Let me set these aside now. I'm gonna set this up. And where's my, here's my thingamajigger. Okay, this card that I'm gonna be sharing with you is part of my um, Technique Club for February. So that's gonna be kind of exciting, right? We are going to be using a Bermuda Bay card base. Fina Barbital just, <laughs> just popped into somebody's head when I said Barb and Dina, Barb, Dina, Kelly, whatever. <laughs> that's funny. No, we don't take anything. I know it's hard to believe that that's, this is, this is all just natural. <laughs> um, yeah, but it is. Okay. And then I've got, oh, I don't have any dimensions here. Well, that's very interesting, Kelly. Uh, let me tell you what the dimensions are. This is eight and a half by five and a half Bermuda Bay card base. This black layer is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. 
And then I have a piece of our Fluid 100 watercolor paper. And I thought I took some of this out of my drawer to share it with you. Oh, and I put it back in my drawer after I spilled all my pieces all over. <laughs> so our Fluid 100 watercolor paper comes, you get 10 sheets of it, and it's five by seven. This is some really nice watercolor paper. So I just wanted to let you know that it's called Fluid 100. You guys know that you can go in my online store and type in any of these names that I'm talking about and it will just come up, right? Okay, you don't need to know item codes. All right, then I also have a four by five and a quarter layer to go on the inside of my card. Okay, let's measure this for you guys. All these dimensions will be on my blog if you give me just a little bit of time to do my photography and all the things and upload my video afterwards. And this is my blog address. So three and a half by five, I'll bet. Nope, three and a half by four and three quarters. Okay, so this is Fluid 100 paper. Now, um, one thing we need to do is we need to die cut. And I would take this layer, because we're going to put this black layer behind the watercolor paper. I would take this layer and I would die cut this. And then I would also take my little Hey Chick, some Versamark ink and some white embossing powder, stamp that on here and then use our little sign. You could die cut this first and then stamp and emboss, but I've already done that just to save a tad bit of time. Here's our cute little sign. Okay, we've also got our cute little fencing and it's actually got um, embossed lines in it too. It's pretty cool. And then all I did was stamp with Versamark the Hey Chick and hit it with some white embossing powder. Okay. And then any of these little pieces that I have, oh, I don't remember which one this, oh, that goes in here. I, I just put them in the back of here when I don't use them so I can use them with something else. Okay. So that was, that was great. We did all that work, <laughs> but I would actually do it out of this layer because that layer is just going to go right in the back of this layer right here. So here comes our technique. And like I said, this is part of my monthly stamping technique. I have a technique club and I'm just going to lay my, this is a Ziploc bag. You could use a sandwich size bag would be better, but we didn't have any that didn't have Elsa on them. <laughs> yeah. So I thought, oh, this will be better. Hang on. I got some leafing going on here. Okay. So first thing I've got is stamp and write markers. Just want to let you guys know, these are the markers you need to use for this technique. And this technique, by the way, is called um, aqua wash. And the stamp and blend alcohol markers will not work for this. You need to have um, water-based markers. I think that's what these are called. So I am going to take my Poppy Parade and I'm going to use the big coloring tip and I'm just going to color some Poppy Parade on here. Then I have Crushed Curry and I'm just going to color this on here. And then I have Bermuda Bay, and I'm going to color this on here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to spray this with water in one of our spritzers. And I hope that you will be able to see this, because it is fairly wet. Can you see how wet that is? It's fairly wet. And then we're going to turn this over, and we're going to, whoops, I guess it wouldn't have mattered, but we're going to do this and we're going to squish this around just a little bit. Just squish it around and you can see how it's making like little water marks in there, right? It's got like little droplet marks. And then if you want to, you can grab a tissue. Oh goodness, do I, oh here I do have tissues in here. Grab a tissue and you can mop up any extra. Sometimes I like to take it and just kind of tip it around like this, but isn't that spectacular? And you saw how easy that was, right? Super duper easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, now I will show you in a minute what I did. I used this and I stuck it on some watercolor paper again. Where did that go? Right here. 
And this is how very, very pale it turned out. So depending on what you're looking to make, this is kind of um, very pale. This is much bolder, right? So I just wanted to show you how that would turn out. Now, I just take a tissue and I wipe this off and you can do it all over again. So as long as I have some extra watercolor paper here, let's do that. And I just lay this on here so I know how wide to put my marker. And I got out some different markers. Here they are. I just wanted to show you some different colors. So I've got Gorgeous Grape here. And I'm just going to color with that. I always manage to get the marker all over myself. <laughs> do you guys do that? Here comes Bermuda Bay. Oh look, I got two of those. Huh. Who knew? And then <laughs> Rich Razzleberry. And I just thought, you know, just play around with your color combinations. You're going to find some that you really like and some that you don't like at all. And then I'm going to take my spritzer and we're going to get this fairly wet. And again, it is pretty soppy. If you put less water on it, this looks a little spotty. It's not as attractive. And again, I'm going to squeeze it around. Just like that. Pick it up. And I just keep using the same, hang on, the same tissue to wipe it off again. I use the same tissue for like 15 of these and it worked just fine. If you want to, you can sop up the little bit of water that's kind of on the edges, just like I did last time. And now, what I did, I had to make a whole bunch of these for a swap, okay? So I had to make 21 of these. So what I did is I did all this part and I just set them over on the other side of my table to dry. But since we need to keep moving along here tonight, right, I'm going to hit them with my heat tool. And if you're in a hurry to get yours done, you can do that. This is going to be kind of boring, so if you need to take a little bathroom break, go ahead. Just make sure you run really fast back. Now you see how this paper is like bowing or bowing up? Now it's going down. It'll correct itself. Don't let that freak you out. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp right on top of here. So I really need this to be dry. If we weren't gonna stamp on it, if we were gonna like put some intricate dye over it, it wouldn't matter so much. Now see how it's bowing the other way? Now it's curling up. If you have any problems, when you get this all nice and dry, you can just turn it over and now it'll flatten out again. So don't let that freak you out. The first time that happened, I'm like, oh my Lord, what's happening? But it was fine. Thank you, Deborah. Deborah says great technique, and Margaret's husband made a cup of tea. I was so impressed with Steve's um, planning of our little ski trip because, honest to goodness, I was so stinking busy last week that I I did I did nothing. He planned everything. He planned the food. He's like, "What do you think about tacos? Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. What do you think about?" Um, crock pot lasagna again perfect idea he's like do we need the pancake griddle yep we need to bring that and I'm like don't forget the maple syrup he planned everything he got the paper plates he got the napkins um, he got the milk and the butter and the, all the things he was a rock star and you know it was kind of funny because anytime we would get ready to go on a trip I was always the one to no end because I was doing all of those things and working full time, right? And so it's funny how our roles have reversed and he did such a good job. Now I'm just going to feel this to make sure it doesn't feel damp at all. I think we're good. I can stop yelling. <laughs> Take a drink. Okay, next up, we are going to, I'm going to do this one. We're going to take our cute little layer here and what I found when I use watercolor paper it is a very obviously porous paper and when you stamp on it lots of times your image doesn't get stamped good right because it's very porous it's not like 
our basic white cardstock that's all really nice and smooth. So what I like to do when I'm using watercolor paper to stamp, I like to use my Stamparatus because if I don't get a good image on here, I can ink it and stamp it again and it will turn out right. So I've got my little, um, I put some washi tape here so I would know where to place this at. My magnets, don't let your magnets smack together, they will break. <laughs> and then you'll just have more magnets, don't cry over it, it's not a big deal. There's no crying and stamping. <laughs> okay, now um, another little tip here is I like to take a stamp case. Right now I've got my markers under here, but I like to take a stamp case and put this under here so that my surface is flat instead of angled. And I am using Stazon ink. And I'm going to stamp my little sassy little chicken woman. This is my little chicken mama. And that did turn out really nice. Um, I do notice that my wings on my chicken are a little light, so you can obviously just come back in and ink it again. As long as your piece didn't move, give it some good pressure. Look at that. Beautiful. This is a great way to stamp. If you ha Some people have problems stamping and not getting the whole image. It's kind of a consistent thing, and I, if you have that trouble... Try using your Stamparatus because it really is fabulous. Let me get my stamp cleaned off here. And of course you know that um, Stazon ink is a permanent ink. That's why we're using it with watercolor. But um, it, it will stain your stamps. Who cares? I could care less. A stained stamp means that I've used it and that makes me happy. Okay. Um, we're going to set that aside. Again, that was my Stamparatus. It's a fabulous tool. And if you order one now, you'll get a celebration item because I, I, I don't know how much they are. They're over $50 or $49, I think, aren't they? I think they're $49. Anyways, so here comes our little chicken. And then what I decided to do with my cute little chicken is I decided to put this little fence in here. So I'm going to take my snips. And I'm going to cut off that little thing that would attach it to another panel of fence because I don't need that part. And we're going to add a little bit of glue to the back. You guys, if you saw my, um, my little message about I'll be live tonight, I said that we're going to be making that card portfolio tonight. So that's going to be exciting. Okay, here comes my little fence. I'm just going to set that in here like it's coming in. We're gonna take our poppy marker and color in the chicken's little um, wobbler thing. What do you call that thing? I can't remember. I, when I was a kid, we had chickens, and I'll have to tell you, I know people love their chickens, but not me. I do not like chickens at all. They're mean. <laughs> Some of them can be, and they smell really bad, and I was allergic to them. So I am not a fan. But I do like eggs. <laughs> okay, I like all things eggs. So here's that. We're going to put that on the back of our black layer, or on the front, actually. Now, I'm going to put glue all around the outside edge of my watercolor layer. You guys don't often see me do that. But because this is a watercolor technique, I want to make sure that my edges are going to stay adhered to the edges of my layer, right? So I'm really careful to put that glue around the sides because I don't want those edges bowing up. There we go. There's our cute little chicken. And then I need a glue dot and a dimensional. So I'm going to bring in a dimensional. I'm going to put one dimensional behind my sign and then I'm going to take a glue dot. I just want my sign raised up. I don't want the, the little stick down here to be raised up. I'm going to, I rolled up a mini glue dot. Let me make sure that's all behind there. And I put it on the stick. Oh, let's do this. And now I'm going to put that right in my little chicken's hand wing. Wing hand. <laughs> kind of like a wingman, but only a hand. Or a tiny hand. No. Okay, so let's stay focused, Kelly. 
All right, we're gonna put this on the front of our card. This is a quick and easy little technique. Um, last time I did this, I think I had a really intricate black flower die that I just die cut and put right over the aqua um, wash technique area. And oh my goodness, it was so beautiful. And then we're gonna bring in some of these black, matte black dots. Now these are on back order. But I think if you order them, you can still order them. I don't think they've turned them off, meaning they'll just come when they come in the warehouse, I hope. So we're gonna take some of these little black dots. I thought these would look cool on here. Meh, hang on. And I'll put one right down here. And then how about another one right up there? Okay, so we have one more thing to do here. I love white Baker's Twine. I love this Blushing Bride Baker's Twine too, but I really love white Baker's Twine. And it really killed me when we didn't have it for a while. But we, it's back. And all I know is the heavens opened up and, and the angels sang hallelujah. So you could just tie a bow. I'm just using this little bow maker. I call it a bow jig. And... Um, you could just tie a bow, but I'm kind of lazy that way. Oh, here, let's see if I can do it right. It's kind of backwards. Bass backwards, as my dad would say. That's kind of bass backwards. <laughs> and another little mini glue dot. All those fun little phrases you get from your parents, right? And we're going to take that and put it right here and add our little bow to our sign post. Hee <laughs> hee, isn't that cute? Okay, and then, hang on, I'll show you that a little bit better in a minute. Let me put this away. Then we're going to do a little bit of stamping on the inside. Where's all my stamps? Okay, so we're gonna use, I'm just gonna keep using stays on ink because that's eh, fine. And here's our white layer. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna stamp this funny little chicken. Look how funny it is. Now notice I didn't need to use my stamparatus because this is basic white cardstock and it's not real porous like the watercolor paper is, the Fluid 100. And I mounted two stamps together and then I tested them out a couple times to make sure they were straight. This, uh, this will alleviate a lot of problems because let's say you stamp one and then you go to stamp the other one and you get it crooked or something. If you do this and test it out on your scrap paper to make sure that it's straight, you can move it around or whatever, there's a really good tip. Yay! Okay. Hang on, drink time. Then I've got my Bermuda Bay and I'm going to come in here with some of these little um, curly Q things. Hang on, where'd my stamp set go? Who saw it? Oh, here it is. These little deals. All these words, by the way, are coming out of this set. I use this chicken, this chicken, this. Happy birthday, and whoops, this. So, I'm the hey birthday chick. And I'm just going to stamp some of this confetti around on my layer because why wouldn't you? Spruce it up, spruce it up. And then we've still got our markers out here so we can come in and color in this crazy chick's feet, beak. And I'm using the um, writing end this time. You guys know that there's a, there's a coloring end and a writing end on our markers, which makes them really very cool. And here comes, oh, I forgot to do the candle too. Don't forget to put the yellow on the candle. Now I'm gonna color the crazy chicken hair. I'm just trying to be careful to stay in the lines because I'm using the big end. I'm being really, really brave. It's a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Challenging myself. Whoop, whoop. There. Whew. That was stressful. <laughs> Here comes. 
because my cupcake and my little candle. And then I've got to put the yellow on the flame. Okay, look at how cute that is. What do you guys think? Is that not the sweetest thing ever? Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? I completely forgot. Um, I am going to grab my basic black marker and I am going to do a little flicking. I'm going to flick some of this background just to tone it down a little bit. So, ready? You put your end of your marker in here and you flick it out of there. And that's just going to add a little bit of black. Look at how that toned down that white up there. I thought that would be pretty cool. Okay. Hang on. Baby wipe time. Oh, who said that? Donna says the eyes are so small she dots them with her black marker and it makes a difference. Oh, that's interesting. Let's try that. It does make a difference. Just a tiny bit, right? Okay, let's get this in here. Stop goofing around. <laughs> Thanks, Donna, for that tip. <laughs> so yeah, again, if you came in late, the Hey Chick and the Hey Birthday Chick with the dies, without the dies, you can order them any way you want. They are all going to be available on February 2nd, which is Tuesday. Can you guys believe that it is already going to be February? Like, I don't even know where the time went. It's insane. Like, how did it get to be almost February? It's almost February. We're still dealing with the Rona, which is ugh, I'm so sick of it. Okay, that's enough about that. We're all sick of it, right? It's like, yeah, Kelly, you're not alone. Okay, here we go. Let me get this stuff put away. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Hang on, let's do this one more time. I forgot to show you the Technique card, which is part of the whole Technique thing. So. I am just going to do a little bit of scribble here. Hang on. How about if we use these three colors again? I didn't put them away yet. A little bit of scribble. That was Gorgeous Grape. This is Bermuda Bay and Rich Razzleberry. Okay, now I can put these away. I'm going to take my Mr. Oops, what, I don't know what I just sprayed, but it wasn't this piece. <laughs> you guys ever do that? Like, rah, it goes everywhere. Like my sound effects. Ah, there we go. Pick it up. Wipe it off. I'm gonna, oh, this is a baby wipe. Well, that'll work. There we go. Okay, now once that dries... I am going to attach it to this instruction sheet. This is the instruction sheet that everybody gets that belongs to my online technique club. Okay, so they get this card and I won't do the inside. Okay, that's just too much. You get this card with the front and then you get this with a tiny little sample of the technique. So after a little while, what happens is you get an entire pack of these technique cards, all different kinds of techniques. And when you go to make a card, you can look through these and go, huh, I should do the whitewash technique, or I should do the aqua wash technique, or whatever the case may be. But that's what you get. Now, you have to order $25 a month for six consecutive months, and then you get a $30 product credit from me at the end. And it's, I shouldn't say $30 product credit, $30 same as cash. You get to place an order, you get $30 off. Um, and it has to be consecutive, six months in a row, $25 each month. And then I have a lot of demonstrators that ask me, um, they say, I'm a demonstrator. Um, is there any way I can be in your club? Yep, there is. You can place a $25 order each month for six months and get the same benefits. I have a lot of demonstrators that are in my technique club because they don't have an upline. And um, they want the ideas that I share in the instruction sheet and all the things. So just so you know, 
totally. doesn't matter if you're a demonstrator. Um, and even if you're a demonstrator on my team, you, again, you can place a $25 order and you'll get these things. I do not sell these separately. There is not enough time in the day for me to just do that. So um, if anybody's interested in the Technique Club, you'll find all the details in the right-hand column of my blog. Okay, I'm just going to set this all aside. Hang on. I got to put my dies away. I don't remember. I think both of these go in here. Mm. This one does for sure. Nope, I think this one goes in here, doesn't it? Where'd those dies go? Anybody see the other dies? There they are. Yep, I was right. I think this is the way it goes. I'll look it up later. Anyways, both of these on sale February 2nd. They're going to be a hot commodity. I would not wait to order these. Like, I would not hold off because who knows? If they're going to go on back order or not, right? It just depends. It is so stinking hard for a company to try and forecast. Like, are we going to sell 10,000 of these? Or are we going to sell 40,000? I mean, that's a huge difference, right? You just can't. You just never know. Okay. Who's ready for the portfolio? Ah! I know you guys are really excited about that. All right, let me set this off to the side. I'm going to get a new one of these because that one's wet. I have a whole bunch of them under my desk all ready to go. Okay, portfolio. Oh, goodness. Now, where did my... Uh-oh. Hang on, I'm looking for my original. And I know it was here. Here come some things. Some things we're going to be using... Oh, I found it. Remember this? I had a whole bunch of you ask me. Hang on, I got hair in my face. My crown is a mess. <laughs> oh my goodness. I had a whole bunch of you ask me if I would show you how to make this portfolio. And this was sent to me as a gift from Kathy Smith. And she said that she gave this out as gifts to her family for Christmas. And she just put a whole assortment of cards in here. And we've got this little portfolio thing going on. And it's tied together with a ribbon. And she gave this as a gift. And I think one of the really neat things is this card that's on the front. And we'll talk about that a little bit. But I um, made one of these. Of course, I used some different paper and things. So you're going to get two different ideas, which I know is what I love to see when I'm making things. Okay. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, we're gonna be using the flower and field. So, so many of you gave me this great idea to um, use the cards that I made for my mom. Hang on, let me get them. Oops, one more, here we go. To use the cards that I made for my mom. And do you remember, let's see if I can get them out here. This card, yeah. And this one, these are all um, sympathy cards. And we had a talk about that, right? That when you get to a certain age, you need more sympathy cards than probably any other kind of card except birthday cards, which is good, right? Where did that stamp set go? Huh, hang on. I might have put it away. And I did. Here we go. <laughs> Corner. Okay, this is what I used to stamp in here. And then I've got, hang on, I gotta find the other one. Well, for the love of Pete, where is it? It's called Healing Something. Heal your heart. Here we go. It wasn't where it was supposed to be. Sorry for the delay. This is the um, the words that I use. I love the font on these. Wish I could heal your heart. And then this is the bouquet stamp that I stamped down here on the bottom of each one of these in a tone-on-tone -tone technique using that color, the color of the cardstock. So this is um, so saffron, this is just jade, this is flirty flamingo. So I decided to take these cards and make my mom one of these portfolios. 
because you guys told me that's what I should do and I agreed that was a great idea so I'm going to find my paper cutter which I just had who sees my paper cutter here it is it was under the basket with the chicken in it all right here comes my paper cutter so we are going to do some cutting and scoring and I will have all of this on my blog, so don't worry about that. Um, you'll be able to find it. So we're going to start with a 8.5 by 11 inch piece of cardstock. And I chose Flirty Flamingo because it coordinates with the colors that I'm using. I use the Flower and Field Designer Series paper for my cards. And this is free during celebration with your $50 order. Robin wants to know on February 2nd, will you be able to order the chicken dies? Yes. You can order the dies, you can order the stamp sets, you can order them both together, you can order them all individually. Yes. Um, that's a great question. Thank you so much for asking. So, I chose Flirty Flamingo because it's coordinating color of the field and or flower and field designer series paper. So what I'm going to do is on the long side, I am going to score at five and six. This is really easy, you guys, super easy. I was watching somebody the other day. Did you know that when you need to go to six that this ruler edge right here is at six so you can just push it right over there? Yeah, I didn't know that either. <laughs> Maybe you knew it, I didn't know it. Okay, and then the next one, we need to open this up. We're going to score at six on the short side now. We're gonna score at six. And six and a half. Okay, now, as long as I've got my paper trimmer here, rather than cut with my scissors, which sometimes can be kind of jaggedy, depending on whether you're a good cutter or not, I am going to put this back in here and I'm going to cut up to the second score line. Okay? Make sure I'm doing that right. Yes, up to the second score line. So I'll get my scoring blade out of the way. I'm going to cut up to that second score line. So I cut from here to here. And now I'm going to move it over. And I'm going to do the same thing. Let me get this lined up properly. There we go. Cut to that second score line. And then what Kathy did is she cut a half an inch off the bottom part. So I'm going to move this over to a half an inch. Okay, and I'm going to cut up to the first score line. And again, I can use my scissors, but I, how am I going to measure exactly a half an inch down here, right? This is on the bottom part. I'm going to turn it around so I can do another half an inch. This is really so simple, you guys. It's crazy. Oops, hang on. What's happening? My thing came out of the track. There we go. So now I'm going to go up to that first score line. Yep, that looks good. Okay. Now let me show you what we got. What do we have, Kelly? Well, we have this little piece right here. I'm going to cut on that score line. Okay. And then I'm going to take, whoops, and I'm going to cut between the score lines at an angle, just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Cut that off and cut oops, at an angle, just like that. Now, this is what we have. This piece right here needs to go. We need to say bye-bye. So, you got to kind of get your scissors in here and cut this middle piece off. And you kind of want to do it nicely so it doesn't look all jaggedy and crappy. Because <laughs> I'm kind of weird about that. So if yours looks jaggedy and crappy, you're going to say, oh, Kelly would never go for that. There we go. Yay. See how nice it looks now? Okay. So we're going to, of course, fold and burnish our edges. Fold and burnish. And I'll bring Kathy's back in again so you can see how she did hers. Mine is just a little bit different. Um, everything so far is the same, though. 
but when I go to decorate it, um, I'll give you both ideas. Okay, so here we go. Now, I cut some things and some layers and did some things. So, I have a layer of white here, and I'm going to just leave this flat. This is gonna go right on the front of my portfolio, and I'm going to take this layer. Now that white layer is, hang on, I'll turn over my cheat sheet, uh, four by five. This designer series paper, the flower and field, is three and three quarters by four and three quarters. I'm gonna have to stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. Get this on here straight. And I really like the white under there, you guys, because it pops. It makes this paper pop and really stand out. Um, Amy wants to know how many cards fit in the port in the folio. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a minute. Hang tight. I'll be able to show you. Okay. So now that we have this here, um, I took a piece of our basic white and I die cut the largest stitch shape circle. Okay, so we've got this circle. And then what I decided to do was I decided to take some of our adhesive sheets and I'm looking for them right, oh, here they are. Our adhesive sheets. You get 12, six by 12 sheets of this stuff and it's really cool. And what you do is it's it's got splits in it, okay? So it's easier for you to get the backing thing off. But what I did was I took a piece of designer paper and I cut a piece of the adhesive sheet that's gonna be about the same size. So I'm gonna kinda just jam it up here. Uh, let me see this for a second. Where did my die go? Right here. I am using the die that goes with the fine art or the yeah the fine art floral suite and it's the die that says just want to say okay and we're going to use this on the front of our little portfolio and so I want to see I don't want my lines to go up and down on my words I want them to go this way so I'm going to stick this right over here in this corner and what you do is you peel this off and you put it right on your paper where you want to turn it into a sticker. And for a detailed die like this, this is where this is going to work really, really good. Now, this is the side I want to die cut, and I want it to be fairly straight like this. Hang on. I'm going to bring in my little mini boss and I gotta bring in my plates so we got this one and then we need a number two and then our die Ooh, this just fits yay and another number two This is my mini boss, as opposed to my big boss. It comes with all the plates that you need. This thing is $60. It fits right on your desk. It's adorable. It's um, great for travel. It's not too heavy. I really like it. It's a cute little machine. Okay, we've cut this all out, and now we're going to Where's my pokey tool? Did you guys see my pokey tool? Right, here it is. We're gonna pull this out, poke this out, and get ready to roll with it. Now, the one thing I wanna tell you about this die with the fine art um, floral suite is you wanna make sure to pay attention to the eye on the just because it's easy to lose. And I did, oh, here it is right here. It likes to fall out and it's very easy to lose. Okay, so I got everything out of there. I have to find out where my set of dies are so I can put them, put that back in there. Here's the two. What do you guys think of this striped? This was just kind of an afterthought. I'm like, ooh, I wonder what this would look like if I die cut these on the striped designer paper. And so here comes this one. 
Okay, this one. And this just turns your dies into a sticker, and I, I think this is pretty cool. Molly loves to play with it. All right. We are going to put this on the front of our portfolio, folio or portfolio or whatever you want to call it. I'm just centering that on my front panel here. Then we're going to come in and put this circle right about here. Now we want to make sure we leave room down here because we're going to put a little um, banner down there. And then just want this W want the W kind of fits right under the J like that and then two gosh it's so quiet in here <laughs> I just swiped off my dot yep I'm not going to use it but thank you for telling me that I appreciate it but I'm not using the dot on this one I'm gonna I'm gonna use a rhinestone instead okay so this is what I've got and now I'm going to start putting this in place. And I just kind of like to do a dry fit first so I feel like I know what I'm doing even though I maybe don't. <laughs> you guys ever feel that way? It's like, oh, I felt like I knew what I was doing, but apparently I was wrong. And remember, there's a cut in that um, backing on the paper. So you might have two little slices to take off. Here comes our just... And I'm going to go just like this. And be careful so you don't pull your letters apart either. See how, see what I mean? There's a little slit between those two. So I'm going to pick that off. And again, your take your pick tool is your best. It's, this is like my best tool ever. I use this thing so much. And da da da. We got snow while we were gone too, and we got home today. Steve had to do some snow blowing. Oh, and I bought this chair for baby Val that hooks onto the cat the island counter in our kitchen. It's horrible. It's the most hateful thing ever. Like I said, when the new chair comes, I was gonna burn it. Well, the new chair came. So we might have a chair burning. <laughs> okay, here comes our want. There we go. What do you guys think of the stripes? I don't know. I think that's kind of cool, don't you? Yeah, I think so too. Um, anyways, the chair came and I got it out and put it together and it is amazing. So don't go on Amazon thinking you're going to buy one of those little chairs that clamps onto the countertop, you know, like a table, a table or countertop. Don't think you're going to buy one for cheap. Because what you're going to buy yourself is an ever-loving nightmare. And I have to tell you, that chair that I bought, it was like, I don't know, it was like $30 or $40. Like, that's not super cheap, right? It was the biggest piece of junk I have ever seen in my life. It was horrible. And so, I got a new one now. It's a little pricey. But it's really nice. We had one that clamped onto the countertop. I had one for years. All the kids went through it. And Steve decided we didn't need it anymore. Boy, is he kicking himself because that other thing was just so bad. <laughs> okay, <gasps> I think I like that. Now I would have probably moved my want down a little bit or moved these two up, but whatever, right? My mom's not going to critique me like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take my detailed trio and I'm going to round the edges on, hang on, my crown is trying to fall off again, here and here. And I'm doing that because I can. You don't have to do this, but oh, it's so nice, right? It's nice to make those edges look professional, I guess. I don't know. You have the tools. Go ahead and use them. Okay, so not only am I using it for this part, but now I'm going to use it to put a hole in here to put our ribbon through. So we also have this hole right here. Put 
puts a little hole right there and then I want another one right there. So how am I going to make sure that that gets put in the right place? I'm going to grab my handy dandy little pencil and I'm going to do that. And then we're going to turn this punch upside down so we can see that handy dandy little circle in there. See it? Oh, hang on, it's getting away from me. I gotta stand up so I can hang on to things. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yay! All right, next up, I need ribbon. And since I used the crinkled whisper white seam binding on all of my cards, right? I thought I'll just carry it over to this. So these go up like this and then you're going to put your ribbon through both holes. Hang on because I'm going to put our cards in here. Now I think it was Amy asked how many cards will this fit? Well it'll fit quite a few. So here's one, two, three, four. So I've got four cards on this side. Let's see how it looks. Does that look good? That looks about right. So four cards, probably maybe five cards with envelopes on each side, quite a few. And I'm just gonna kind of even this out. I'm gonna have to make my mom some more to go in here. And I was thinking, these are all um, sympathy cards, so what I'll do is maybe I'll make her some of the same design and make um, birthday cards so I can put I'm gonna wait and see if some of you come back to me I'm so sorry huh. am I live oh I see people popping in yay okay so I'm not really sure you guys what happened but Oh, I'm sideways. Am I sideways? Are you kidding me? Yep, I'm sideways. I'm not going to shut it off now. It's just going to be sideways. So, um, let's see. Do I need to go this way? Is that upside down? We'll see. Anyhow, um, I saw where you guys said that I was frozen. And then, okay, we'll just um, I took my phone, and I think there was some type of, a, of an emergency broadcast that kicked me off. And so we have kind of a thing going on here before I went live. We had an active shooter at our mall today. And he or her, I don't know who it is, but they were still on the loose last I heard. And I think that my phone, acts like, it shut me off for some type of emergency broadcast. So, yeah, praying that everybody's okay. It's That's a very, very unusual event for me in my area. I mean, that's kind of stuff just doesn't happen here, so it was pretty creepy. <gasps> Look at how cute that is! Do you guys love it? Oh, I gotta, I gotta keep it this way, right? Yeah. So that's what I did is I just put the little, any type of a sentiment. Um, and of course, the art gallery one is a really good, good one to use. So I thought it worked well. And then I've got some rhinestones someplace right here. And like I said, I was going to take a rhinestone and add it to my J right there just for a little bit of bling. Now, other things you could do with this folio is you could decorate the spine. You could decorate the whole front instead of leaving it like this. But I wanted to have a, a little, you know, uh, I didn't want to have to punch into my decoration, but whatever. Um, you could also decorate the back. You could... Hang on, let me, Oops, let's see if I can tie this in a knot. Never, my mother will never get this open. Just kidding. She's pretty smart. My mom ain't no dummy. Yeah. But hang on, I just tied it in a knot for Pete's sakes. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, you could also decorate these panels. Okay, there's a lot of things you could do in here, but super cute. And this is the one that Kathy sent me again. And the really neat thing about hers is that this panel right here is actually a card. And all she did to make that happen, let's pull these cards out of here, is, oops, hang on. She cut a slit. So this is a tall card. 
she cut a slit as wide as her little card here and then you just open it up and put it in here now the person who gets this because then can take this card out and use it right so that was just genius I thought that was so nifty and so she's got let's see how many cards does Kathy have in here one two three four cards and envelopes and then this little envelope to go with the front card and then we've got one two three four so she put eight cards and envelopes in her folio and I will have that many when I make a couple more cards for my mom but there you go there's our cutie patootie little deal oh I made another one too hang on I almost forgot so trying to figure out how to do this I had to of course make one right here's the other one that I made and with this one I used the same paper I cut that the white I use flirty flamingo to cut that oh let me do this I used flirty flamingo to cut that and then I I did the next size stitch shape circle out of vellum and then I used the back of this paper which is black with um, just jade polka dots on it to die cut my words and then I put you are lovely this is our just jade ribbon which of course matches in the background here and then I didn't do anything special on the inside and I didn't even um, I, I forgot I didn't even round my corners on these I'm gonna do that right now so I don't forget and then I've got another one and of course I've made a million cards using this beautiful flower and field paper right because it's free hello so I can make up another one of these and put matching cards in it with just all the cards that I've made of various different kinds using the paper so there we go here's one here's the other and then we have this adorable adorable little chicken card so if you came in late We've got, um, hey chick, where's my hey chick, here's my hey chick, hey chick and hey birthday chick, both of these are going to be available for purchase with matching dies or individually. You can buy just the stamp set or you can buy just the dies or you can buy the bundle with the dies and the stamp set, whatever you want, but these are going to be available February 2nd and they're going to be available until the end of June, so that's cool. And then this was the folio that um, Kathy Smith made and sent to me as a gift. And she said that she gave these to her friends and family for Christmas gifts. And she just wanted to share that with me and show me what she was giving away. And she put a whole variety of cards in hers for, you know, all occasions because that makes a really nice gift. So... And one thing I was really thinking about, you guys, with um, these, you know, young mothers, young mothers always need birthday cards for little kids. And I know a lot of people say, well, I don't have anybody to make, I don't have any little kids to make birthday cards for anymore. So you don't need any of the, of the little kids stuff that you would love to buy because it's so stinking cute. This is the perfect opportunity to buy some of those cute stamp sets that you like that are kind of kiddish and make up a bunch of little kid birthday cards and give it to some young moms because let's be real life is hard and buying birthday cards is expensive and what a wonderful thing for a young mom who doesn't need to be spending money on stuff like that but has to because her little Susie or little Johnny gets invited to all his friends birthday or her friends birthday parties that's a great gift and young moms whoops I keep forgetting young moms will love a gift like this I'm not kidding they will think that is the best gift ever <laughs> okay you guys so sorry about the problem tonight um, like I said I think that there was an emergency announcement that went out and it shut off my Facebook which is weird because I have a do not disturb on there. So whatever. I hope everything is okay at the mall. Keeping our fingers crossed. Sending prayers to whatever was going on there. And um, don't forget. This is my current host code. If you place an order with me. Please use that code. 
This will um, help me out if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have your own rewards. Celebration continues until February 28th, and then it's over. It's one month shorter this year, which is very unusual. Um, this is the first time we've done this. We're going to be having celebration again this summer, and I can never remember when, June or July, July, I think. But anyways, everything in this brochure is free with a $50 order. There's a couple items, a $100 order, you get it for free. With my um, kit class, Fine Art Floral, if you add both add-ons to the kit, you get to choose two celebration items. I forgot to put that in my initial advertising, and I went, oh, what was I thinking? Um, if you only order one of the additional add-ons, you get to choose one celebration item because it won't bring you, uh, never mind, I'll contact you if I need more information. But anyways, you do get free celebration items with these things. So um, I definitely want you guys to have those. I don't want to, uh, I mean, I get tons of free paper with the orders I put in. I want you to have your celebration stuff. So just know that if you do order one of these kits with the add-ons, you will get the celebration stuff. If you order the kit without the add-ons, your total before tax and shipping and PayPal fees and all the things doesn't get up to qualifying for a celebration item, or I would give you one. So, yay. All right, you guys. Oh, portfolio ideas to do a one-sheet wonder. Yeah, I thought about that too. Thank you very much for mentioning that. That's a great idea, Sue. Love it. Um, Donna wants to know if I have any information about the magnetic plates. I do not, but... As soon as I do, Donna, I will let you guys know, but I haven't heard anything about them. I think that they're um, doing a tremendous amount of testing with them because we ran into a problem. So, yeah, bummer. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, don't hesitate if you have any questions. I'm always here to help you out. Don't forget to go check out the Stamp Happy Academy at stamphappyacademy.ning.com. You type that in, it'll take you right over there. $80 in online classes with your basic membership every month. So basic membership is only $19.95. This is a fantastic deal. If you have any questions about it, don't hesitate to ask me. I think I'm going to go downstairs and see what Steve is up to. I've kept you guys long enough. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me. Don't forget to click on that share button. That really helps me grow my business. Give me a thumbs up. That's appreciated. Also, if you're on YouTube later watching, ring that bell. Then you'll get notified every time I come on or have a new video pop up. So, have yourselves a wonderful Sunday. Have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.